Hi guys, I wanted to start off today's video with an update on my small animals. As you can see, Philippe right there in the front, I put in with his girls. Um, he was neutered about eight or nine weeks ago. Um, he's been in with them for about two weeks now, and things are going brilliantly. I'm very happy with how it's going. They all get along great, and I am trying to figure out a way to get them a bigger cage. Um, they have the hole underneath of the coop and then this outside part, um, but still, I would like them to have more room. So that's my next project with them. So he's the only neutered male in with a group of four females, and they all get along wonderfully. And then my group of two guys here, Peter on the left and Pepper on the right. I am planning on getting them neutered as well, but obviously that's a financial, you know, obligation, so I do need to make sure that I have the money for that. Hopefully that will happen soon, and then I can get these guys neutered, and they will hopefully be, you know, a little bit happier fellows. Um, you know, I can tell that their hormones are starting to kick in and stuff, so, but either way, they're still sweet, and I enjoy them, so, um, I would like to eventually maybe make a colony and put them in with the other five, but we'll see how that goes. That's obviously a, a while away just because they need to get neutered. Um, right here I have Velvet, my pedigreed Netherland Dwarf, who I do plan on breeding within the next week or so. She is six months old now, so I'm very excited about that. Um, this is Blueberry, my second pedigreed Netherland Dwarf doe. I, she is six months old and I did actually just breed her on Monday today is Wednesday so I'm gonna try again in like another two weeks just to make sure she caught um, and then here is Lark my pedigreed Netherland Dwarf Buck he will be the father of the babies he has a little bit of a sore on his nose from fighting with one of my other males through the pen so that wasn't fun um, but he will be the father of the babies and then sadly I have an update on all of my guinea pigs um, as you know, I did lose one to a hawk. Um, Esther was taken by a hawk. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, a little tiff there in the back. Um, but anyway, so I, I just am starting to get a little overwhelmed with all of the care of these animals. So I will be sending them back to the rescue that I got them from. And they are going to find them homes from there. Um, it makes me sad and I really don't want to do it, but I can't afford this many anymore and with a two-year-old son It's just starting to become too much work and I have health issues. So That's that I guess hopefully they all find loving homes and it goes well I'm you know praying that it works out and uh, the rescue is very reputable. So I trust them But back to my little um you know, group of five here. Bunnies are my heart. You know, I do, I do enjoy them more than the guinea pigs, which I feel really horrible of a person to admit. Um, but it is true. They just, I find them friendlier and easier to deal with. They come around, they tame a lot easier. Um, and I just enjoy them more. I enjoy taking care of them more. I just think that they're just basically more interesting. And, um, you know, I, I know that sounds like I said, probably terrible, but um, that's the way it is, so I'm just just kind of being honest, and um, I really want to update all of my bunny habitat, 